<laughs> what do you think about Abel Sanchez's remark? Abel Sanchez is 100% right. The Cholo brother got mad at him. I don't think he should get mad at him because Cholo brother, one of them, he's not a guy. He fights. Well, he maybe he should have just said some of the black fighters don't fight. The Earl Spence, the Cholo brothers, um, Porter fights. Um, you know, you got certain fighters to fight. And he should have just certain black fighters. They won't fight. They won't go in there. They they not going down there like like the other guy who just fought the other day. The, um, um, he just fought. His court about a couple of weeks ago. His coach stopped the fight. He was he was behind in a fight. Um, his coach says, I'm going to stop it. I don't know if his grandfather stopped it. or uh, He fought for the world title. Um, you, know, you, don't, you don't know what I'm talking about? How long ago was it? Just a couple of weeks ago. In New York? I think it was in New York. Uh, I don't know. You know the guy. Um, okay, I don't know where my, my brain is at right now. What's the middleweight champ he beat? He beat Kovalik. What's his name? The, the B. Kovalev? Yeah, the B. Kovalev. That's Andre Ward. Andre Ward. Okay. Andre Durrell, one of the brothers. You know the Andre brothers? Andre Durrell, yes, yeah. yes, yes. That's the second time he did that. He reminded me of the rest of these guys in here. He went, he hit move around. He did not go in there. He knew he was losing that fight. And he, you know, his corner did the right thing. They stopped it. They had, they had to stop it. And, and the coach was like, yo, I'm going to give you one more round, man. I'm going to stop this fight. I'm going to stop this. Why are you sending him out there? He's not going in there. He's not trying to win. He's not trying to win and hurt the guy. And he coached it the right thing. He stopped the fight. I don't want to take nothing away from Andre Durrell. He's great. He's a good fighter. He's a, you know, you know, could have went a little further. If, you know, he's been a little more aggressive. Because he knows how to fight. You know, when I talk like this, when I see a fighter, you know, they got their mouth all poked out. You know. Like, what, why do you think that is, though, that... Black fighters aren't as aggressive as they Because they're not taught how to fight. There's no teachers. People want to teach people to move, move around, slip, slip, one, two, slip, slip, one, two, hook, slip, slip, or one, two, run this way, run this way. And, and I always say, what gives another person the privilege to hit you and, and to keep coming at you when you got to hit and get out of the way? They're not taught how to fight. And you know what? You got people out here, they can't say that because cause I'm cause they not black. I'm black. And yo, like it's like I said, in the Cholo brother, he was a little pissed off, but he's one of the guys that will fight. Him and his brother and Earl Spence, they're coming to get you. If they hurt you, they're coming to get you. And they're not fighting to win. They are fighting to hurt you. They they fighting to hurt you. You know what I'm saying? But their trainer is teaching them that and that's what they do. Um, he got the guy that trained Earl Spence is a good trainer. He trains one of the Cholo brothers. And then you have the other trainer. He's a good trainer. Um, what's his name? Um, from Texas. Um, I forgot his name. He used to be a fighter too. I think he was champion too. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, he was a good fighter too. Yo, these guys teach people to hurt people. Yo, if people hit the bag, boom, boom, step in, boom, move, move it, one, two, hook. Look, you ever see a guy go boom, what? Boom, boom, bang, bang, bang. You're not gonna see it happen. It's boom, boom, look pretty, look pretty, boom, boom, look pretty, look pretty. Or look in the mirror, they wanna look how pretty they are. Everything has to look pretty. You know what I'm saying? When the guys who's looking u ugly, like Kovalik, Triple G, all these guys, they're not looking pretty, but they're knocking people out. They don't care how they look. They throw a punch. They're trying to hurt people. They're not trying to win on points. You understand what I'm saying, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And black people, black people, we're the strongest, we are one of the strongest creatures in this world. We're faster than it. And black people, and people are always race, no it's not. If, if, you, if you look at, if you look at, I, like, like I said, one time I was watching track and field. I was watching the Olympics. And I see all the tracks people, they running. And then they go, and China's in third. And I'm looking like, who? Well, I don't see a Chinese guy. It was a black, a black African guy representing China. You understand? Black people are physically stronger than any race. And it has been proven, you know? And, and people that say, oh, he's a racist and that. And you got a lot of Caucasians. Like, you have a, a lot of Caucasians who are strong. You know, you happen to get one of them every now and then. You even have, you have to get a Chinese, you have to get Mexicans, you know. Mexicans before, they were very good at nothing over 147 pounds. Now, they, they good now because fighters don't fight. They come in to fight. You know what I'm saying? And you have these little Mexicans that used to fight 126. They moving all the way up to 126, 130. They fight 147, 154 because they can do that because nobody's fighting to hurt them. You understand what I'm saying, right? Absolutely. Like, like Mayweather can move up and wait and do all this stuff. You know, when he, when he was back in the days, man, these fighters, Sugar Ray, and then all these guys, these guys were big walkways. These guys, these guys, 
with big middleweights. You know what I'm saying? Big junior middleweights. You know, Mayweather can move up because he knows how to fight. And the, none of these guys are really aggressive. You know what I'm saying? He knows how to fight. Remember when he was younger? He was a great fighter. He's still a good fighter. He's a great fighter. He's undefeated. He do what he got to do when he got to fight. He knows how to win. A lot of these guys, they don't know how to win because they're not taught how to win. They go, and the worst thing that, that people have out now is pad work. Pads is the worst thing that they're doing. One, two hook, move, right hand hook. One, two, hook, one, you know, all, all this, this craziness, you know, hit the bag, one, two, get out of the way. One, two, get out of the way. One, two, run over here, do this and do that. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy.